So this is our experimental setup. Here is the semiconductor camera to the left, red color. And then semiconductor camera has a very powerful optical uh, normal lens, not the digital one. It's a very long lens which captures the optical vortex or magnetic vortex coming out of the sample. And here is the antenna and two uh, sticks that you were seeing, white color, are actually pH of electrodes and uh, many many antennas are there. So this one is one pH of antenna which goes there. So there is a pH of oscillator with um, uh, with uh, with a with a lens, and then here you, we have another piezo oscillator with a lens, and then electric uh, during nanoscale oscillations we have this kind of oscillations. While this vertical rod contains the organic jelly, and uh, and you can see that uh, all the data uh, gets input through here, and then vertically the gel grows and the problem is solved so the optical light is actually goes up and down from top to bottom so that mm, from there from top to bottom so that we read it with the semiconductor so this end if we go straight we will go to the laser source so laser is the reading it's a uh, it's the reading readout circuit and then this one this particular blue cable is actually input um, signal from say tiger is running or um, uh, a swarm intelligence or any kind of big data problem you want to give input you give it through here and then it is read out here and then um, uh, through this cable it goes to the computer and then um, um, whole thing um, is uh, is read by semiconductor camera so semiconductor camera reads simultaneously the optical vortex and magnetic vortex we have a magnetic film um, uh, film here and then there here many many particle lenses are there uh, and then if you go inside if we cut this part then we will find lots of polarizers are also here Mm, uh, uh, so the polarized uh, light comes from the from the laser source, laser source, and then there are many 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 lenses so that uh, um, uh, linearity is maintained. So the 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 uh, um, the work of these two piezo oscillators is to um, is to amplify repeatedly um, uh, the light signals, and then let uh, two many many. <coughs> uh, optical vortices that are generated interact with each other in the sample so and so that enhances the credibility of the data that we are getting so that uh, quantum interference uh, happens among all the different kind of vortices that generate and then finally we get the output through here and it goes to the to the to the computer and then the computer has analyzer mm, which actually reads the circles or optical uh, or magnetic uh, vortices which are circular uh, many many composition of circular um, uh, drawings and then it analyzes that and we we get to see the time crystal um, or a clock architecture of the of the samples that is that is produced here over here in this glass tube so during experiment we we put the jelly over the top and then the problem input is there so this is input and uh, this is our output and uh, vertically is the is a readout circuit so this is the ex exact exact location here we observe the entire experimental setup of the computer optical vortex computer that we have built um, uh, here is the camera that reads the uh, time crystal output as uh, composition of orbital angular momentums uh, OMs or magnetic angular momentums or MAMs and uh, uh, here is the here is the glass tube or capillary tube uh, we can put anything and then mm, when input is given input is an image uh, or a big data set is given as input through this antenna mm, through this antenna it goes directly into the into the into the gel and then it starts working and then there is a camera that camera actually 
captures live demo of how the supramolecular architectures are being being built and then that goes to uh, there uh, there is a camera where you can see live uh, how the architecture is growing um, and uh, uh, and uh, there are two um, you know, vortex lens connected to the period oscillator so there is a period oscillator and then in the period oscillator uh, we make a hole and then we put a vortex lens vortex lens we 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 create it um, uh, it is made of uh, m multiple layers of uh, m uh, uh, glass slides um, uh, cover slips and uh, and there are oils of different refractive indices in that and all those are combined and handmade uh, in our in our place so two identical of this one is in this side in, inside and another one is um well, one is hanging from from here uh, there so basically uh, basically this kind of um, uh, this kind of vortex lenses this kind of vortex lens are actually with PH oscillators in in two sides they 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 continuously vibrate and that actually um, amplifies the uh, the tiny um, uh, optical or angular momentum some of the circles are very very tiny so they they amplify and also it helps in the interference of many many vortices produced during the experiment we want a composite um, uh, architecture of clocks or or, or, or universal time crystal um, to be produced here which uh, supposed to be read by this um, by the system which goes to the camera um, to the computer and then we analyze them so we have created an interface a exclusively built uh, software which actually takes the data and um, and we, we get the output in the computer